For some patients, the most effective treatment may come in the form of medication. And for others, it may be surgery. Our goal in treating pediatric patients with inflammatory bowel disease is really a normal quality of life. These are patients who go to school every day, they participate in sports, they have sleepovers, they have dates, they go to movies, they have a very regular quality of life, and that's really our goal and expectation. In general, most of our patients with ulcerative colitis are managed with medication. For some patients who have more severe disease, surgery is an important treatment. The key element of the surgical therapy for ulcerative colitis is uh, removal of the colon. The disease exists in uh, the lining of the colon and rectum, and so removal of the colon um, makes the symptoms go away from the disease. That takes operations uh, in stages to get you to that point. The decision to have an operation is a team decision uh, between uh, the patient, his or her parents, the gastroenterologist, and myself. And we all talk about the risks and benefits of having an operation and um, what the probabilities are that the symptoms that the patient's suffering from will be improved with an operation. Surgery for ulcerative colitis is the only known cure, but any operation has risk associated with it. But any time we offer an operation to a patient, it's because we believe that the risk of not having that operation is greater than the risk of having the operation. The day we do the colectomy and create this J-pouch reservoir starts the clock, really. Six weeks from then, uh, we do a couple more x-ray tests. And then six weeks after that is when the second stage operation and really final stage for this procedure is done. And from there on, the patient is back to having bowel movements in the regular fashion. The primary goal here is to relieve the symptoms and improve their quality of life.